<laughs> All right, guys. So here we have a upright piano and how to take it apart. <laughs> there are myself. One included. One, two, three. The other one is not here. And Olivia, but she's taking a break. She's unionized on how to take apart a Hobart M cable piano. It's an upright piano. There's plenty of YouTube videos on how to do this, but mine is going to be that much better because it's already halfway done. <laughs> all right, so you got to take all these strings off. You got to take all this other stuff off. It's a lot of it's a lot of flathead screws. <laughs> See this whole bag right here. You take out every single one of these screws and your piano is going to look like this, right? <laughs> and then, once you're ready, you put the piano down and I'll update you with the rest. Stay tuned. <laughs> so, uh, oh. we, we got uh, to get this thing flipped on its side, on its back, and you have to unscrew these screws. <laughs> just not, like not, that. Like that. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. Either. It doesn't come out. Yeah. Is she? Put pressure on. There you go. Yeah, there like that. Just like that. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. So if you want to um, get some better advice on how to take apart a piano, check out the other YouTubes. Because they have some really good ones. The other YouTubes. But yeah, we're... That, we're that just out. No, this is, that was wobbly. This is our first piano that we're taking care of here. Yeah. Uh, this won't be our last. You can call the Piano Disassemblers Union and we'll get your piano apart in no time. It'll only be $500. 800 piano? <laughs> 1 800 disassemble piano. Is there another one? I would watch out. Come over here and do it right, right around this area. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's still the thing. No, it's just a wood brace. Is it? That it won't come up. No, just it's, like is it attached to this? It is, it's glued. <laughs> Alright, so we have struggled trying to get these pins out. Now, I know there's other videos online showing how to do this, which way or another, but this is the best way that worked for us. And that is with a corded drill, not a... Not a uh, battery operated because battery operated eats eats the juice of the battery but we have a corded drill and what we've done is we've attached a extension and then a quarter inch adapter reducer from quarter inch to three eighths let's see if we can pull this out to get you guys to see this in the camera all right and uh we put this in this extension attach it right to the drill and now let's see this puppy in action. And that's what they look like. That's what these um, pins look like. They are semi-threaded. They're machined with a very fine thread, but it's not really a thread like you would think, but it's, it does keep the... It, it's like pressed on. It's like pressed on. It keeps this from coming up. So let's... So what I do is I put it in there, and then I, I turn this a little bit to give it a, torque, a grip, and then I spin it. And I'm, I'm pulling up as, as I go. And they pop right out, just like butter. Yep. Oh yeah, and the other thing is, the reason you gotta take all of these off is cause the, um, the cast iron with these here pins is pressed onto the wood. So you got so many of them and it will never come off. Even if you pry, you can try to pry it off and it will not pry off. So the best thing to do is take all of these off and this cast iron will just come right off. Let's give them a couple more examples. So as you can see, I'm leaning to it to a certain degree so I can uh, grip the uh, the pen so I can pull pull it up and there we go 
All right, so we have made an attempt to make this come out a little bit easier by adding some WD-40. And we'll let you know if it works. Yeah, a little. We gotta get out the way. You got, you got work to do. <laughs> well, WD-40 definitely works. Cause they came out a lot faster. Hard work. And if the girls can do it, the guys can do it. Yes. <laughs> this crew of hard working young ladies. <laughs> That's the boss over there. This is the foreman. She's the brains of the operation. Assistant. The assistant. Little Rex. And this is just about a done project. So now here's the last part. We're gonna take a sledgehammer and hit the wood right here and hope that it breaks. And that's how you take apart a piano. But like I said, if you want better instructions, look at another video. But we wanted to document this somewhat. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so you take it and swing there and break it. Yeah, no, okay, look, let me help you. What's my position? No, like a golf club. Right. Okay. <laughs> right? And you, and you hold, hold it like this and just go like this. Okay? Get a slow-mo, oh, yeah, too. <laughs> I don't know if I can pick it up like that. Though. You don't have to pick it up. You just swing it. Just swing it. Go. Yeah, what? That was, <laughs> that was so that easy. Was no that was so easy. I really barely picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, Caitlin, go ahead. Let's get that other so side. I was not <laughs> it so we're here just what? Oh! Wow. No, man. We thought this was I thought I thought it was going to be a lot. All right. Livia, come here. What? And try to just here, hold it with me cuz it's really heavy. All right, we're going to hit ready. On two, three. Oh, And don't drop it. It, it. Don't let it go. Just let it drop. There we ah! go. You're a beast. I don't think I can. There you go. The bottom. All right, here you go. go. One more time. Nah. Go from the bottom, Bianca. What do you mean? Where the yeah, stone hold where is. the stone or the metal is. Yeah, there you go. Three, two, one. Nice. One more time. Hey, it looks like a face. <laughs> he made a face. <laughs> All right. See? All right. Again. Let's do, let's do that one more time. Ready? Ready? He's walked already. 